room is that? No. This is one of those fantasy holes. One of the <laughs> this is, looks like one of those things you see on a calendar that doesn't really exist, but it really does. Mr. Norman must have had a bit of dyspepsia when he, <laughs> when he sort of created the width of fairway. But if you, if you, I don't know whether it'll come in off that mound on the left. Oh, it's a good hit. Oh, perfect. Dead, dead middle of the fairway. Just right, right of center. In. Beautiful shot. It should be right in the middle. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, we like that. I don't know whether to tee it low. I think I'll try the old pro's trick. Tee it a bit lower and try and slide it down the left side. Yeah. A lowish cutter. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one right there. Be a bit down the left. No, that's going to come down, though. That's right by that little banyan tree. Good shot. I don't know. There I think it's, it's all right. It rolled right down to the bottom of that banyan tree. Did it? Yeah. Is, is Alice Cooper a name, a figure, something else uh, entirely divorced from you? Total character. I, cre I created the character to pretty much hide behind. Uh, I don't particularly, I'm not much of a show off at all, but Alice is. You know, when I play Alice, I, I'm playing a character the way Jack Nicholson will be playing the Joker. And I try to make that character as opposite of myself as possible. So I have fun playing him. He's much more Captain Hook. You know, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a, a lovable villain. He's, he's sort of the kind of villain you really actually like, you know. Where did he come from? I think he just came from a long history for me of watching, uh, reading comic books, watching horror movies, and, and sort of all of the Americanisms all rolled into one sort of modern-day Frankenstein. And Alice is sort of a media monster, you know. He takes a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and then when you see him, he's sort of America gone crazy. You know, you're almost, you're just less than 150. Mm -hmm. um, I, th I think a, a nice eight, a good eight. It's a good, yeah. good solid eight. Just, yeah, just favor the right-hand side of the flag if you can. But I think it's just a good eight from this bermuda -y fluffy grass. All right. Whereas if you go left and it kicks left, you're left with a tricky chip. I'd nice rather smooth. be somewhere on that green. Yeah, just a nice smooth swing. Oh, good hit. Right at it. That's right at it. A little long. That must be good. Spin back a little bit. See the end. Do you see it spin? It, it was spinning back, but I think it caught up in that little thing. It's okay. That was right at the oh, pin. Oh, I tell you what, yeah. Well, I'm stronger you're than I look, a you know. You're a bit of a star, yeah. <laughs> you're <a> wiry. <laughs> I'm sneaky small, long. I'm small, but beautifully uh, proportioned. <laughs> <laughs> I think he may be part Yorkshire Terrier. That looks good. Bit left. That's okay. Bit left, bit left. We both got stuck up there. Did we? we people were saying you were tearing animals apart and, <laughs> and eating <laughs> the, uh, sheep's entrails and, and all of that. <laughs> That's that a was, new one. That I like was that. All, that was uh, all illusion, like a, a, a grand well, illusion. Well, first it didn't happen. The great yeah. story about the chickens, for one thing. What was, was the story about the chickens? I, we were doing a show in Toronto. Canada, our very first show, anybody had ever seen Alice Cooper, 60,000 people, it's being filmed, John Lennon is there, Jim Morrison is there, they're all, and at the end of the show, we take feather pillows, and we would open them up, and turn CO2 cartridges, and it would look like a blizzard up on stage, with all the sound going on, and then somebody from the audience threw a chicken on stage, and I've never been on a farm in my life, I'm from Detroit, you know, I mean, you know, a chicken, it has wings, it has feathers, it'll fly, so I picked it up, and it was fine, and I threw it back in the audience, and I thought it would just fly away, you know. Of course, it went right into the audience, and they tore it to pieces and sure. threw the parts back on stage. The next day, it was in the paper, Alice Cooper rips head off chicken and drinks the blood and all this stuff. And I went, wow, I didn't see that. The audience are tearing a chicken to pieces. Very distasteful. Even the topper on that was that the first eight rows were all wheelchairs. So the yeah. people that tore the chicken apart were in wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> which even made it more bizarre, you know, because they were the more vicious than anybody out there. <laughs> You're going to be watching this, aren't you? Oh, yeah, with uh, great interest. With great interest. As if my car depended on it. Oh, Ooh, that looks good. That looks real good. Oh, go on. Ooh. That's the story of my life there. You tell me the story of your life. That's the story of my life. Is that all right? Even my enemies. That's enemy real good. Me. Thank you. That's better than all right.
You played that pretty far up, didn't you? I did. Oh, that's a good speed as well. Mm, just didn't give it uh, what, 14 inches. Oh, I'll give you that one. I'll nah. give you that. But I like to see you just slowly back. Yeah, very nice. Very nicely done, sir. Very good. Thank very you. good. On to the next. Was there a, a, a period when you did not perform or travel? Did you, did you pull back from it and say, I'm not going to do this anymore? Or have you always been performing somewhere? Well, I, there was a period when I just couldn't because I was, uh, you know, I became an alcoholic. Did you? Yeah. I, I drank, uh, I was drinking a bottle of whiskey a day. And, uh, you know, I'd get up in the morning and throw up blood and wouldn't tell anybody about it because I wasn't eating. I was just drinking and, and surviving. But I was never drunk. I, w I could walk a straight line. I could never slur a word. Uh, I never missed a show, you know, in, in 25 years. So nobody really knew I had a real drinking problem until it was, until it was really too late. And then I checked into a hospital, and uh, it's been 15 years now since I've had a drink. So, I mean, I always tell people I'm 48 and I'm in better shape now than I was 20 years ago. It's the real <laughs> truth. I am in much better shape than I was. But I had my bouts, you know. I mean, I, I knew Jim Morrison and I knew all these guys and I, I saw them go down. Keith Moon and, you know, Jimi Hendrix and these guys uh, were all friends and I knew how fast they were living. You should, you should do something to feel good. When you're just drinking and feeling good, there, there's something wrong there, <laughs> you know. Uh, but golf was, was a big part of my rehab. When I stopped drinking, I started playing golf 36 holes a day. Who got you into that? Uh, actually, I just I went out and started hitting some balls because I just didn't want to, If I sat in my house, I was going to sit there thinking about drinking. If I got out and did something away from that, then, then it was going to be... So I immediately got addicted to golf. You know, I got addicted to a more positive thing. And the better you play in this game, the more addicted you get to it. Yeah, it must be. Just outside, just on the right edge. Look at this. Ooh, Ooh, you like well, what does the future hold? Well, I, Immediate you know, future. Corey, I, I, music. I, I play so much golf, I actually want to get in the golf business somehow. Do you? I don't know how or where or why. I'm not good enough to play the seniors tour, you know, but it would certainly be a shock to the system, wouldn't it? Well, have you out come there out? Playing? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I might just take two years off and practice hard <laughs> enough just, for, just to see the look on their faces. Well, to you have a few of the down boys behind you with a few. Yeah. All I want to do is shoot par. I don't want to win a tournament. I just want to go out there and play with these guys. <laughs>